So one of the members of the Road Cycling Academy's Uplevel Road Cycling course recently said to me, Cam, that analogy you've just used right here for cycling training has just enabled me to take on board a lot more of what this is all about. So I thought in this video today, I would share that analogy with you so you can make sense of cycling training and ultimately take your performance to the next level. So welcome back to the RCA Training Tip Show where today I wanted to share with you how riding your bike, cycling training is just like, or not just like, but it's kind of like building a house. And this cycling training analogy is not something I just use for members of the Uplevel Road Cycling course. It also forms part of my free ebook for recreational and amateur road cyclists looking to go next level, which you can download below. So for the purpose of this analogy, we're gonna simplify things, and I would like you to think of your cycling fitness. I'd like you to break your cycling fitness into three parts. Part number one is your base endurance fitness. Part number two is your upper end go hard fitness and part number three is your overall efficiency. And that third one, efficiency, is super important because you might have really good top-end fitness, but maybe you can only hold your top-end for a short period of time, or maybe once you've delivered your top-end fitness, you can't deliver it again and then again and then again. So number three, efficiency is super important. Now, if we think about building a house, we're gonna simplify things here again. We can break it into three parts. Number one, you've got the base foundations, number two, you've got the levels, and number three, you've got the finishing touches such as the vanities, lights, switches, doors, locks, etc. Once again, point number three, finishing touches. You can look at a house from afar and it can look huge, really solid, but you can get up close and personal, you walk through it and it can be a bit of a shit pile. So, we're gonna break this into two parts and the first part that I wanted to talk to you about are the foundations and the levels of your house or your cycling performance. When you spend less time working on the foundations, let's say it's small and it's shallow. When you start to put up the levels to this house, sure, it's gonna to start to look, although by drawing isn't very good, it's gonna to start to look much more appealing. It's gonna to start to look better than your neighbor's house who's also putting up a house at the same time, but they're spending more time on the foundations. So they're still pouring more concrete over here, but this house is starting to look a lot better because I've gone straight up into the levels or straight into high intensity. But at some point in time, when they're building the levels, the foundation here will start to crack. And you will find yourself stuck on a performance Plateau, we'll call this one, two, three, I'd say two and a half levels. So in order to get past two and a half levels, we need to go back to the foundations. We need to pour more concrete into the base foundation so we can build more levels to the house. And pouring more concrete or working on the house foundations in terms of cycling training is working on your base or your aerobic fitness. This is where you become better at delivering more oxygenated blood to the working muscles. You also increase lung capacity, you stretch the heart muscle, your mitochondria grow and become more efficient, and you enhance the capillary network surrounding the muscle fibers. The list goes on. But ultimately, it's very important that you spend more time working on this base foundation. And if you wanna learn more about base fitness training, I'll put a video up there, but ultimately, once you've set this up, as you can see, we can build really solid levels and the foundations won't be cracking early days. At some point in time, they will crack, but they certainly won't crack early days. And in regards to the levels, once you've got the foundations right, I like to think that we've got five distinct levels of the house in terms of cycling that we can put up. The base foundation, is zone two training. Now the first level, that's enhancing the aerobic engine with upper end base fitness work. I'd call this zone three and even a little bit of sub threshold or what some people call sweet spot. The second level is your zone four or your threshold one hour power. The third level is your zone five or your VO2 max. The fourth level is your zone six or your anaerobic capacity and the fifth level 
is your zone seven or your all out neuromuscular power zone. And what about zone one, active recovery, I hear some of you asking? Well, that is your cleaner that comes in and tidies once a week to ensure the levels are cleared and kept nice and tidy. Otherwise known as clearing the byproducts accumulated from lactate production out of the working muscles. So now that you can see the house, we wanna ensure that we're spending time working each level. So each level looks nice, it's robust, it has high ceilings. And the best way to work each level, would you believe when it comes to cycling training is not bunch riding. But yes, bunch riding is probably gonna to touch all of these zones, but in a sporadic way. And the cleaner isn't really gonna be coming in and doing the cleaner's work to ensure that we can clean up the mess and restart working on the level so we build it nice and strong. So the best way to work each of these upper end levels is through something called high intensity interval training. Using intervals or blocks of training to spend time in each of these zones and then have the cleaner come in and clear out the level so we can go back in and work on it again. An example of this could be hill repeat training, which I'll provide a link to at the top of the screen if you wanna check it out. So to summarize this section off, we build the base foundations first. We spend time there exclusively making the systems, in terms of cycling fitness, robust and reliable. And then we add the levels. Ideally, we can add the levels in a progressive way, so we're making our training harder as we build the house and we spend time in each zone or we spend time on each level exclusively so we don't have weaknesses or the house or the levels of the house don't look rubbish in one part but awesome in another. The second part of this video is putting on the finishing touches, i.e. creating cycling efficiency. As mentioned to you earlier, you can have a big, tall, robust house but get up close and personal and it can be rather inefficient it can be impractical in many ways. In terms of cycling, we've all seen the guy rock up to the bunch ride and he pulls one monster turn, never to be seen again. So it's very important that we spend time on the vanities, the lights, the switches, the doors, the locks, in all our rooms on each level. And the way we would do that in terms of cycling training is having a structured approach to our plan. We don't go out each ride and do everything or whatever there's a plan in place to build base fitness or to target our different zones on different days, ensure that we have rest days, doing recovery rides in zone one at the right times, all while progressively making our training harder as we get fitter and stronger on the bike. I actually summarize this structured approach in something called the stepladder approach, and you can click on the video about the stepladder approach somewhere up there. And this approach to training, the structure, it makes such a difference. It could be the difference between somebody having a FTP of 200 versus 250 watts. It's that big of a difference. So do you like this analogy of building a house and cycling training? I'd be keen to get your thoughts below. And if you'd like to learn more about building the house and implementing a structured approach into your training plan, we go into detail on this in something called the Up Level Road Cycling course through the Road Cycling Academy. We open four times a year and we're about to open for the second time this year. It's open now actually for the next few days. I'll provide a link below if you want to check it out and I'll catch you in the next video. Be sure to give the video a like too if you've gotten value out of it. Cheers.